Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, please excuse the fact that the bed is not made behind me because Lola has like this little minor attitude problem sometimes where she just doesn't like it when I make the bed. So guess what? We didn't make the bed. It is a fight that this mama just wasn't in the mood to have. Um, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Not a great way to start, but hey, it happens. It's okay. Um, I wanted to jump on, share my favorites with you guys. I'm kind of in a rush, so we're gonna fly through it. Uh, first off, I just wanna quickly say, Newfoundland, or St. John's in particular, post all of these storms has now been in a deep freeze and it is wreaking havoc on my skin. My skin just feels dry and gross and I'm an oily skin girl. So naturally we've been having problems. Um, Benefit released a new primer, the Professional Hydrating Primer, and I've been using that and I really like it. I, don't, I only have a sample size of it so I don't have it, but I'll try to remember to insert a picture here. And then in conjunction with that, I've really just been so razor focused on my skincare. One of the first things that I can safely say has come in clutch this winter is the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. I pretty much use this every night exclusively. It's insane. I just like put like six or seven drops on my face. I let it absorb in and we Gucci. I always use the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This one's actually empty. It's going in the empties bin. Um, I have a repurchase in the cabinet, but I had it out to go in the empties bin, but I wanted to talk about it, so I figured I'd leave it here. And then my daily, like twice a day kind of moisturizer is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This stuff, y'all, it is thick, but it is great. So 10 out of 10 recommend. If you're on the fence about it, get a sample. Sephora does do that. Everyone I say that to always seems super surprised, but they do do samples quite regularly. You can get three of anything pretty much. Um, like obviously there's things that you can't, but generally speaking, if it comes in a pot, you can get it in a sample pot. Um, the other thing that's come in clutch this, this year, this um, this month for skincare, is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. I don't know why I held it up like this. Oh God, I'm scatterbrained today. Um, I love the Lip Sleeping Masks. I definitely prefer the Vanilla to the Pink, only because Vanilla is one of my favorite scents, so naturally I'm gravitating towards it. Um, next up, my hair has been just as bleh this winter um, as my skin. So one of my favorite things, it's bougie, it's expensive, but I'm glad I got it. It's the Briogeo Farewell Frizz um, Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It looks like this. I'll insert a close up. Um, I think it's $27.50, but it's really, really good. A 10 out of 10 recommend. And then in the shower, I've been using the Lush Cosmetics Yognog Shower Gel. This is like a caramel latte in a, in a container for your skin. Um, it's a bit glittery, a uh, quick disclaimer there. I do put it in a travel container and I take it to the gym with me. So I did get the 500 ml bottle in the Christmas sale or Boxing Day sale. So I do put it in a smaller bottle and I take it to the gym because that's where I generally shower. Um, I have a makeup tool that I'm loving this month. Um, this is the Pro Fusion Powder Brush. It's so fluffy. I got it in a holiday box from Farley Co Beauty and it's actually magnetic. It comes with a brush stand. I also got an eyeshadow brush as well and they stand up like this on the stand. I don't use that. It goes in my um, like regular makeup brushes but like you can get this at Lawton's and it's just so fluffy. I haven't really switched up my brushes from Morphe or Real Techniques so the fact that I got one and I really like it is a good thing. I also have a lip duo that I'm loving and I've talked about this to death and I'm actually running low on this lippy which makes me really sad. Um, this is the ColourPop Soella Collab uh, Lip Liner and Liquid Lip in the shade Little One. I have it on my lips right now. I love it. It's a great easy nude. I'm actually going out this evening so I prefer a nude lip on really cold nights like this. It's also super windy so my hair is going to be blowing around so super grateful for liquid lips that stay in place, that are nude, that are easy to reapply and um, they last forever. These ones also don't dry out my lips which is really great as well because you know winter. 
And then finally, we have an oldie but a goodie. I recently did a get ready with me. Technically, I filmed it the same day I filmed this, but shh, just, just work with me here. Um, this is the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. It's on my eyes right now. Did a full get ready with me at the top of the month. Um, you should totally go check it out. But this is just like their warm, orangey, burgundy, burnt orange colors, and I love it. This is one of my favorite palettes. I love Tarte eyeshadows with the Amazonian clay in them because they last forever. They don't really crease. Um, their mattes are truly phenomenal, but I also like the shimmers. The shimmers I like to use wet though. Just bear that in mind if you're going to be using it, but other than that, I mean, I have no complaints about it. It's in a favorites video. Um, lifestyle favorites. I have two. If y'all watch Riverdale, you will know if you're up to date, there is a new character referenced in one of the most recent episodes, and it is Veronica's friend, Katie Keene. She is um, a character played by Lucy Hale. If you don't know who Lucy Hale is, she's Aria on Pretty Little Liars, probably most commonly known. Um, well, that character, Katie Keene from Riverdale, has a spin off show. Um, there's four episodes on the CW, so go check it out. It's pretty much Gossip Girl meets Riverdale, I guess, and some of the Riverdale characters have crossed over, so you should totally check it out. Um, I kind of like how Netflix is like incorporating shows, like, it's weird. Riverdale's also on the CW, in case you're wondering. So like, we've got references to Sabrina in Riverdale, references to Riverdale and Sabrina, references to Riverdale and... Sabrina in Katie Keene now like if you are not like focused when you're watching TV you ain't gonna keep up um, And then finally there is a music favorite on February 14th like mid-month So it's been out now like technically a month and a half Alan Doyle dropped his new EP rough side out and guys I'm living for it It's bad like to the point where what I'm filming all I want to do is listen to it So I just strip the audio so I can um, Yeah, that's where we're at so I will link that in the damn bar if you're interested in streaming it, buying it. If you're in St. John's and looking for a hard copy, Fred's Records has them, so shop local. And um, I think that's about it. So with all of that being said, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you are loving this month. I want to know, like, do you have any tips for dry skin? Because, you know, apparently that's me now. And, um, and that's it. So give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on my socials in case I forget to vlog. Also follow my vlog channel, link in the description box. Um, I said give this video a thumbs up, right? Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you super, super soon. I love you guys. Bye.